Assalamu alaikum. I am Romana Yasmin. Now we are going to start our physics class. Hope we are all fine by the grace of Allah. Do you know what is our topic? Our topic is State of Matter and Pressure, Chapter 5. First topic is pressure. What is pressure? Do you have any idea about this? Pressure is the force per unit area. Pressure equals to force divided by area. P equals to F by F. The unit of force is Newton and the unit of area is meter square. So the unit of pressure is Newton meter inverse 2 or Pascal. Dimension, dimension of pressure is ML inverse 1, T inverse 2. If a force of 20, 20 Newton is applied on an area of 10 meter square, the pressure will be two Newton meter inverse two. Same force can exert different level of pressure. If we apply force on a balloon with a hammer, nothing will happen. But if we apply same force on a same balloon, but this time with a nail, the balloon will burst because large area creates small pressure and small area creates large pressure. It is an inversely proportional manner. Density What do you mean by density? Do you have any idea about this? Density is the amount of mass per unit volume. So we can say density equals to mass divided by volume or rho equals to m by p. The unit of density is kilogram per meter cube or gram per cc. Dimension of density is ml inverse minus 3. If 0.25 kg salt is dissolved in 1 kg water so that the total value becomes 1200 cc. What is the density of this water? We know 1 cc equals to 10 inverse minus 6 meter cube. So rho equals to 1.04 kg per meter cube. Pressure in liquids. Suppose that we want to determine the pressure of the liquid at depth x. Imagine an area area. The weight of the column of water above this area exerts a force on A. The volume of the liquid over a surface area A is A is. If the density of liquid is rho, then the weight of liquid or force is A equals to mg. Here M equals to rho A is. So A equals to A is rho G. In a liquid of fixed density pressure rise with the increase of depth. So less depth. There is pressure, small depth, small pressure. Archimedes law. The principle of Archimedes law is if a body is immersed in a liquid, the weight of the body is reduced by an amount equal to the displaced liquid. A cylinder is immersed in some amount of liquid is shown in paper. Height of the cylinder is A. Cross sectional area of top and bottom of the cylinder is A. Depth of upper surface of cylinder is A1. Depth of lower surface of cylinder is A2. We know downward pressure acting on the upper surface of the cylinder is P1 equals to H1 rho G. And upward pressure acting on the lower surface of the cylinder is P2 equals to H2 rho G. Therefore, the downward force acting on upper surface and upwards force acting on lower surface are respectively F1 equals to AH1 rho G, F2 equals to AH2 rho G. So, the resultant force will be upwards and its value will be F equals to F2 minus F1 because we know H2 greater than AH1, so F2 greater than F1. So, we can write F equals to AH rho G. The force exerted upwards is equal to the weight of the liquid which has the same volume as the cylinder. The upwards force is called Beyoncé. Thank you. No more today. Wait for my next video class. Till then, Allah bless.